Hi, my name is Sarah Griffith. I work for Westlake Pro in Los Angeles, California. This video is part four of our Avid Pro Tools Matrix video series, where I'm providing an in-depth overview of the functionality of this new converter and providing tutorials covering a variety of functionalities and situations. In this video, I will be going through the Dadman GUI and explaining its different sections. The Avid Pro Tools Matrix converter system includes an extremely flexible routing matrix. All input signals can be patched to one or more output channels on a mono basis. This is applicable to all input devices and output devices. For example, with eight analog input channels, you can route six channels to the Pro Tools outputs, and the other two channels can be routed to a MADI destination. Or, you can send six analog input channels to six MADI outputs and six AES outputs all at the same time. In order to set up the correct signal flow in the matrix, the correct connections need to be set in the matrix using the Dadman software GUI. When you purchase a matrix, it will come with a software activation card. After you log into your Avid account, you will be able to enter the activation code that is printed on your software activation card and the serial number of your matrix, and you'll be able to download the Dadman GUI software for your Mac or Windows workstation. Once the GUI is downloaded, go ahead and open it. It will look blank. It will not populate unless you are connected to a matrix. In order for the GUI to communicate with the matrix, both of your computer and the matrix must be connected via Ethernet to the same network. To connect to a matrix on your network, go to the Devices tab of the GUI. You will see an IP address for your unit show up. If it doesn't, click Refresh. Once it shows up, check the Connect button. If your network settings are correct, you should be able to connect to the unit without any issues. Once you are connected to the unit, the GUI will populate, showing you the controls and available options of your matrix. So let's take a look at what's going on here. The Dadman control window is separated into four sections, A to D, D to A, connections, and general. Each window can be shown or hidden by clicking on the leftmost column. The top section of the GUI will show you any analog to digital channels that are available if you have an A to D card installed in the matrix. You can see that it is labeled A to D. If there are no A to D cards installed, the section will be empty. Here, you can adjust levels, turn phantom on or off, flip phases, mute, merge two mono channels as a stereo pair, and if you have a mic line switchable card, you can also switch the channel between those two functions. The box below will show any D to A that is installed in the unit labeled DA. You can adjust levels and mute, as well as merge two monos as a stereo pair. As with the A to D, if there is no D to A installed, the section will be empty. The con box is a connection section, which shows the main matrix control matrix. This is the main point-to-point -point signal router, where you route any available signal from point A to point B. At the very bottom is where you set your general settings, such as sync settings, AES output settings, Pro Tools port emulation settings, and MADI settings. This concludes part four of our Avid Matrix video series. The next video of this series will expand upon this one and cover how to use the main routing matrix. To learn more about this product, please check out our YouTube channel to see other videos in this series. We've provided a link in this video description for your convenience.